Hello everyone, and welcome back for the next episode in our Firewatch playthrough. Well, the game definitely started off with a very impactful story as we learned about Henry and Julia and Bullet to some degree, and the rather unexpected turn that occurred in their life. And we don't know what the conclusion to all of that is yet, but Henry has found himself out here at this watchtower, and we've got ourselves a couple troublemaker teenagers running around, which we presume are the ones that just cut the telephone line that we use to communicate with people much further away than us. It should be noted though, there was a single stranger that we saw from a distance near our lookout on the way back from day one. So even though it looks like these teenagers have been causing trouble, they might not be the only ones. If this is your first time finding the channel, welcome. Hope you have an awesome time. If you do have a great time, I sure hope you even consider hitting that subscribe button for me. But without any further delay, let's get back in here, see if we can find these two girls and we're supposed to try to scare the crap out of them. So let's do this. Okay, oh, I'm so happy to see that. I didn't know if I saved the game, if it was gonna pick up right where I left off, or if it only picks up at the, like the auto saved points. So here we are. We got the girls that are uh, causing trouble. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be like a pair of panties that they just like drew a picture on. Maybe they're saying go to hello. Maybe they're just saying hi. I doubt it. All right, so we are supposed to try to find them. She, uh, Delilah, basically said, just go back the same way you came and keep your eye out for stuff that looks out of place. Now, we can obviously follow the beer cans. Man, they do a lot of drinking. Okay, I don't want to hop down right there. We'll go on around because I saw another can over here we'll pick up. And yeah, the, the goal is we're supposed to just kind of scare these two girls so bad that they do not want to stay around or cause any more trouble. Okay, R is the sprint. This up. There we go, that's three. Man, we picked up a lot between both sides. Like I said, I don't know if there's like some achievement for like cleaning up all the beer cans. I'm still a little bummed I couldn't pick up that one because it like glitched into the rocks or something. So if there is an achievement where you got to pick them all up, then I'm obviously going to miss one already. Okay, so we can go that way, that way. Let's see what our map looks like here. Um, zoom in. Okay, so that's the cut wire. We came down. We're going to cross there. Okay, so... Oh, there's a supply drop all the way up there. I wonder if we can go up there to get something. We're supposed to try to make... Oh, that's his thumb. I was like, what? Okay, my guess is we're going to want to veer back. Man, we got to travel all the way. Medicine wheel. Thunder Canyon. We got a long ways to go. Um, which way south? Let's go this way. I think uh, going the other way probably is going to lead up. You know what? We're so close to that supply drop, though. I'm curious. Let's see if we can get to that and what we get out of it. Almost looks like it might be just right up here around the corner a little bit. I mean, we're needing something to... Oh, that's another long drop down, though. An impressive view. Does that show us like I drop down there and keep going up. Man, how do I get back up though? Oh look, there's like some rope swinging in the distance. Okay, she's not asking us to go that direction. We're supposed to be finding these teens, so we're gonna go back this way. If there wasn't the long drop, it was just something I could hop down and then maybe come back up, I would totally go check it out. But we are on a mission. I am uh, very much enjoying this game. It's fun getting to play something a little different on the channel. I hope you guys are enjoying that as well. Oh, okay. Maybe we will end up going. I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm hmm Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. <laughs> so, we don't have a tool to go that way. 
Okay, well, I guess we might be going the direction I was just thinking about going. But yeah, it's been fun to play something a little different, a little more colorful. This is a much more story-focused game than I expected. It's like all voice dialogue and everything else. Okay, let's go down this way. Okay, another long drop. I gotta tell you, all this climbing and jumping, it's pretty invigorating. Just wait for the rest of the summer when you'll be sitting on your fat ass 14 hours a day. <laughs> okay, so it says supply drop is this way? Let's do it. Maybe we get some stuff to clear the... Get a tool or something we can clear with. Maybe. We start finding beer cans this way, though. I'm going to be a little nervous. Ooh. Look at that. So beautiful. Okay. Is this the same combination as well? And... Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. What? It is empty. Should we radio in the fact that this is empty? Maybe I can store stuff in there. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Thought I was going to get something. Ooh. Okay. Let's get going the direction we probably are supposed to go. Although. And just like that, I'm distracted again. We got another peak up here. Oh. What? Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. What? Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! She ain't gonna oh, fall for really? it. Yeah, I got, I, got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of here. A tornado <laughs> in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in. Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado. He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. Okay, I'll tell him. <laughs> Sorry, Hank. No dice. Man. That's great. I love these two. I got a feeling maybe that's something we write at the very end. Assuming there's an ending. Hopefully there's a happy ending to this. I just got done playing through the game Brothers, The Tale of Two Sons. Absolutely love that game. Didn't exactly have the ending I was hoping for. I won't say anything specifically in case you haven't played it. I won't drop any spoilers, but brace yourself. Okay. My goodness. Okay. Let's keep going. Should be coming up on the signs. All right, Jonesy. Oh, wow. Oh, two miles. I was like, wow, the Jonesy Lake is like right here. That's that's not so bad. There's something dangling up there, though. Across the, oh, the, the wood here. Uh, come on. There we go. Hanging backpack. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Got a rope. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Yep. And swipe. It lit up for a second. Come on, swipe. Come on. There we go. <laughs> oh, there we go. Let's take it. Oh, I got a camera now. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. Ooh. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. 
Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Oh, no. Uh, look out, Ranger ex-lover? What, was he a fella you had a thing with? Mmm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. <laughs> of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. Oh, my. I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. Oh, okay. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Oh. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Uh, why couldn't handle your charm? Did you keep in touch? Um, let's go with You guys touch. keep in touch? You and the Goodwin kid? Nah, they took off pretty unceremoniously. Plus, <laughs> what's a 40-year-old woman gonna do with a teenage pen pal? Hmm, good point. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Ah, uh, I am a Victoria's Secret model, you know. Okay, so, is there a, a set number of pictures? Let's say, let's take one right here. Oh, there is a set number. Oh, man, now it's like I, I want to be... Okay, well, we'll I want to see what that's like. C to lower the camera. Okay. There we go. I wonder if we get to, like, develop that at the end and see what pictures we took. All right, so we got some good high-quality rope, it says. And the fact that he said we can just leave these probably means I can, like, track back and forth now. Yep, climb the rope. Okay. I like that. Oh, huh. I wasn't even. I didn't think that was that far of a drop. Uh, yep. Let's go down. So we still need to find something for like clearing debris out of the way, like branches and stuff. That we don't have yet. Okay, we got another lockbox here. Maybe this one will be a little more successful. Oh, no, wait a minute. This is one, two, three, four. Okay. Oh, we got another note. Fossilized claw. Wow. Uh, uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. <laughs> oh, no. Put it back in the box. There we go. Piece by piece. I like that. All right, what we got here? Oh, you know what? I didn't even... Uh, can I rotate it? Okay, I didn't know if there was like... Um, way to flip it over. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not that crap heel Steve. It's your man Ron. I went up to check on the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself. More than usual for LOs. Oh, LOs must be like lookouts. So I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in that hammock? I was starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and the perverted. Except for us, of course. We're creme de la croix. <laughs> I don't think I can pronounce that right. Cream de la cream? Maybe that's how it goes. Let's toast to Deb at the spot. Oh, the spot. Ron. Oh, I could keep that. Uh. Okay. Tad to review notes. Oh, I could have been keeping these all this time. Okay. Good to know. Oh, might as well. Oh, I was about to just close it up. What did we get on that one? Cash 241. 
Is that the cache we were just at? Okay, yeah, it was. Nice. Okay, it looks like the path leads that way too. It does. Hmm. Eh, I'm gonna stay on. I'm gonna stay on task. Just so you know, I didn't mean to overstep my bounds earlier when you brought up your wife. Uh, I know. Well, you did. You can. You can't just do that. You know. Um, uh, I know. I know you didn't. You were just making Being friendly. Conversation. I appreciate it. So, tell me about her, if you want. Uh, she's actually sick. She's a college professor. Oh, uh, I kind of want to. Let's be upfront about it. She's actually very sick. She's like, why are you out here? Here. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Hmm. So he straight up said he shouldn't be here. Hmm. Man, that'd be such a... Such a tough situation. Here, I'll blame the guy for like being like, I need to just get away from everything for a bit. Oh, we do have a fence over here. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah, it looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh, that's weird. Uh, could those girls be behind this fence? Who are they keeping out? What are they keeping in? Could these girls get be behind this fence? Oh, my goodness. Those girls could be behind this fence? Mm, well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence, especially if I knew I was in trouble. I, I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. Hmm, where's this on the map? Okay, he did mark it here. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, that couldn't have been easy to come out here and install. I mean, this isn't exactly easy earth to get into. Not to mention, these are big fence. All right, we're going to stay on course. I, sometimes I wish there wasn't a timer when it comes to selecting my choice. I, I'd like to have a little more time to think it through. Oh, it looks like there was a fire through here at one point. I wonder if there's like certain things I'm supposed to take pictures of. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm, you're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in a fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there, as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Um, well, yeah, it says burn trees. There's nothing I can do with it. I'm surprised there's not more beer cans lying around. Seems to be their main... <laughs> well, well, that and clothing seem to be the two ways they tell people where they're at. Where they've been. Fire lookout. Okay. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's oh. 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Scary. Uh, we didn't get it. Devastating. I'm going to say scary. Although the middle one's probably more realistic. We were scared shitless. We went straight to the doctor after her first spell or whatever. They diagnosed her and we were both just very scared. Can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets... Quiet. She was very quiet. Mm. Uh, 
Wow. Okay. Ooh, uh, it's a little bit of a drop. Oh, it looks like maybe over here. I'm supposed to go down here. And boom. Okay, so if I remember right, didn't her family live in Australia? But these two were not living in Australia. So did the family take her back home? Over there? Is that is that basically what we're finding out there? She's not over here in a hospital anywhere. Oh, I see smoke. So I thought I did. Oh, maybe it was just dust. I thought I saw smoke coming up over those little rocks right there. Get that hooked on there. Wow, this is high. Uh, let's take a picture. I like that. <laughs> Where it all burns down. Okay. Oh, wow, that's a long, long slope there. It's pretty. Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, well, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh, yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Ah! Oh. We got choices. Okay. Um, so if I go across the gap, that will allow me to head back to where we saw their camp at, right? Because they were at the lake. Or I could just head down. Let's see, where's my watchtower? There's the two forks. It almost looks like I could head straight on down this and it would lead me to that lake as well hmm decisions decisions I'm thinking we need to go down a little, little click sound it makes too when you do that just simple little click There we go. Nope. It is nice that we get to just leave ropes through all this place now. I wonder if the mark, if the ropes are. How'd you meet? Uh, in a bar. Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. Prof. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. A lot of times those go hand in hand, right? Not always for the better. Sometimes it works out, I guess. Okay. Boink. Wow. Hey, do you see that? Uh, smoke? See what? No, but uh, maybe see what exactly? I can barely make it out but there's a small wisp of smoke way down to the southwest. You should be able to find a way over there from the meadow by the lake. Towards Five Mile Creek, it's in the southwest quadrant of your map. Well, you think it's those girls? I'm pretty sure it's a campfire, so yeah. I'd call that a safe bet. Man, they really do not give a shit, do they? <sighs> not a one. Five Mile, five mile Creek, is that what she said? Can I get there if I keep... Maybe I can follow this path across and then it connects down. I mean, there are some caches along the way. Is there one nearby me by any chance? There is that cache 305. Okay, we're going to keep going this way. I think I might be able to connect with that lake. Oh, I see a little bridge right there. And then maybe we can uh, cut across along the outside of the creek? Maybe? 
guy gets his exercise. This is only day two. My goodness. He had no idea what he was signing up for when he, he came out here to do this, huh? Oh, I'm hearing some music. Oh. Okay, I, I have smoke. eyes on that smoke plume. Great. Find your way over there and give him help. Okay. I think this is where we were at. Yep, there's where they were they were swimming. Is the clock still in or the radio still in the water by any chance? Can I move through here? That's what I'm kinda wondering. Uh maybe, but I might be hitting some dead ends. Okay, maybe I'm better off heading back up the path first. Cutting across. When the fire season wraps up. Are you gonna go be with her? Just go back mm. to Boulder? You should go be with her. That's my opinion. <sighs> Sorry for the umpteenth time. Anyway, call me when you find the girls. Or anything. Or call me whenever you want. Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know. Well, why not? She's with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Mm. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I uh, think they always thought she could do better and Aww. that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. Am I... No, not that. I thought there was a path... Somehow I started backtracking. I want to go this way. Yeah, that's right. We had to go through the brush. I was like, wait, this looks like the area I was just at. That's not what I want. Okay, this is where their campground was. Oh, uh, yep. Still cleaning up after them. If they've drunk all, if it's the two of them and they've drunk all these beer cans in the two days that we've been out here, a day and a half actually, they are going to be wasted. They drink far too much. Not that our character could really say much, seeing as he used to drink a lot too. Sounds like he's, you know, not done it anymore though. Obviously, probably hits a little, hits a little different to him now. Okay. Oh my! Look at all these. All right. Almost got them all. There we go. Did I get them all? Maybe there's one on this side. Oh, yep. There we go. Now. Okay, we are back on the path that I wanted. We need to find a way to go... Uh, southwest, she said. Okay, let's see if we can just, by some chance, cut across here. We're going to try it. It uh, doesn't look very walk-friendly. No, that's too steep. I got a feeling there's going to be like a specific spot that I need to get to, and then I can cut across. I'm going to stay over here on this edge, though. As much as it'll let me. Aha. Uh -huh. There we are. Am I heading the right direction? Where's the smoke? There it is, over there. He wasn't kidding. There was a lot of rope in that backpack. Okay. Wow. Again, another big slope. They do a good job of, like, creating scale. I mean, it really feel like you are in the mountains. But without it feeling too big, you know what I mean? Like if this was real life mountain 
levels of space between everything. Probably take far too long to get from point A to point B. Oh, we got a cache. Let's see what kind of goodies we can find in this one. Uh, open. One. I do love the fact that the combination seems to be set at different points. <laughs> Each one of these we come up to, it's not like they're all set at zero or anything. Okay, got another pine cone. Get rid of you. And you. Oh, wow, there's a bunch of them in here. Okay, just some firewood, I guess. Missing persons. How many hikers go missing in the Shushan? How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare, because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Oh. Uh, you really didn't like the guy, huh? PTSD, that doesn't sound good. Grizzlies won't kill- uh, top one here. You really didn't like that guy, did you? I don't know. I honestly- I just had a hard time talking to him. I mean, there are lookouts who seriously won't shut up, who call me about every little thing that pops into their head. And then there are those who just want to be left alone. He was the latter. And I'm the former, aren't I? Well, I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> hmm. Oh, it's fine. I'll just uh, chuck my walkie-talkie into the river. <laughs> oh, come on. And uh, you'll never hear from me again. Finally, peace and quiet. Woohoo! <laughs> There's so much fun. Uh, did you say PTSD? You sure a Grizz didn't eat the good ones? Um, let's go to the bottom one. So, isn't your radio supposed to be in the river? I couldn't bring myself to do it. <laughs> well, I guess I'm stuck with you then. Yeah, you said Ned didn't get mauled by a grizzly, but it's possible, right? Yeah, I guess it's possible, but we usually find evidence of stuff like that. For instance, if you were to be hunted down and torn to shreds, I'm sure someone would come across a bloody beard and shredded pair of ugly cargo shorts. I like these shorts. I'm sure you do, Henry. <laughs> Look at that. Mitch Michaels, 31. Six foot, two inches, 165. Uh, facial hair. July 3rd, 1981. He was reported missing. July 29th, 1981. By Forest Services. He's known, he's not known to be familiar with the area. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to start keeping that stuff now. I didn't know I could do that before. I guess if I pass by any of them that I have gone through, I'll, I'll see if I can just start keeping the notes. Okay. Let's see if we can get around this. Lush Woods. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Wow, they really went from one location to another. Because if they was, if they were camping where we found them the first time, and then they went all the way up there to cut that cable, and then they came all the way back down here to set up their next camp, that's quite a distance to cover. I mean, granted, we're covering that distance too, but they're just hiking, right? wild okay where's the smoke I'm having a hard time spotting the smoke now I'll keep following this I guess oh that's pretty it's a really nice waterfall down here given those girls love a skinny dipping I bet they're nearby we see more clothing I think that's... Oh, it's... Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. 
Yeah. Strange. I'll keep looking around. I say that doesn't look like it was intentionally taken off. Okay. This is wild. Okay. Uh, we'll head this direction first. I don't know if you can cross that little stream and go the other way or not, but... <laughs> Seeing the save icon pop up always causes me to pause for a second. I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> What's happening? Can't fire. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Stop it out. We got report dangerous hunks. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Got These a case girls of beer? have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. How are they carrying all the beer? I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's another one of those magazines. Oh, these are our sheets. Ah, found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Looks like. It was them. Can I take them back? Okay, I guess not. I got over here. Uh-oh. This looks like it's uh, maybe been ransacked in some fashion. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or, um, I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah. Good thinking. Good thing I hadn't used all my pictures already. Okay. Uh, let's see what else we got. Torn clothes. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. Let's say a note. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay. Yeah. Let me know what it says. Okay. Um... Okay, dear Psycho, I hope you're effing happy we're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Dick. Uh, oh, they're gone for sure. Well, what's it say? Okay, they're calling the police. They think I attacked them. It's just uh, an apology. <laughs> they're ready to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No. No, but I destroyed their stereo. No, well, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. Dang it. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's its okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Oh, boy. There we go. Day three. Didn't expect that. Well, it sounds like somebody else might have been involved in, like, taking their stuff. Okay, board up. Oh, do I have to go get hey, another... Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Uh, like Burt Reynolds, Tom Cruise had a good-looking twin, 
Uh, do you know Rolly Fingers? This isn't that hard. Uh, let's go with uh, Tom Cruise. I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in People he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god. God, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And about uh, shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Clothes, I don't really think about it. Uh, tuxedos, as often as possible. I try to look nice, usually. Uh, let's go to the this bottom one. can't be that hard. Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice, usually. Well, I try now, I guess. Hmm. Had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good schlubby. 25, 30 years, yeah. But um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah, well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just, um, it's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, though. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... <laughs> Uh, I have a thick beard. My nose has been broken. You'll enjoy my thin muscle. Uh, thick beard. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh. Have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right. Perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. <laughs> your what? Is, is that okay? Uh. Don't, don't answer. I'm going to do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Um, I guess, uh, let's, let's go happy. Uh, they're happy, I think. I've been told they look... I want to be. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. She's okay, so nice. got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Uh, anything new? I just saw he's got his socks hanging up here. Uh, Death Strikes at 2. Oh, he's got another book to read here. Uh, drop it. Oh, hey, I actually ended up there. Glass cleaner. Interesting. So, can we board up more? More of the, the wood? Day three. My goodness, what an adventure this has been already. Hmm. Well, I hope the girls did make it out okay, and they weren't actually attacked by some bear or something. It was kind of interesting, though, that it just ended as day three, and... Or ended day two, and we, we were back here. We didn't get to explore more of their little setup. Hmm. Oh, yeah, here's a board. Get a couple more boards. Okay, I can do that. Look around. Oh, here we go. There's, there's two. Are they all just kind of... Board up the window. Ah... <laughs> Yeah, because we have another storm come through. We don't want all that water getting in here. Keep some kind of environmental control going on, right? Now, over this way. Don't even need nails. Wish I could, like, board stuff up like that. Don't need nails to do it. Just hit the wood really hard against the wall. It'll stay. I got that window all patched up. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. September 1st. This is May? 
Okay, I'm ready. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Okay, of course. Actually, let's go with of, of course. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. <laughs> it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Oh, yikes. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Oh, day nine. We just jumped ahead a little bit, didn't we? Oh, got me a little sandwich. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? That sounds good, actually. Yeah, great. Uh, I might never leave. Yeah, I'm going with, uh, yeah, I might never leave. I might never leave. Well, uh, I called with some bad news. Oh, no. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. Oh, no. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Uh, I'm happy to be questioned. I didn't do anything. It's probably a coincidence. I'm happy to be questioned. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Uh, yeah, don't. It's worth mentioning. We'll go with mentioning. I, I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah, I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Yeah, because this might be the only way they can try to find some kind of closure for the family. Okay, so it's been about a week. Henry. Henry, wake up. Oh. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Kind of scary. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. What? You're the big dumb idiot. Babe, it's late. Uh... What? Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Uh, it's good here. I'm fine. Are you... Some weird stuff happened. Uh, yeah, it's good here. Henry? Are you having a nice time? Yeah, it's good here. It's beautiful, you know? <sighs> That's great, Henry. Really great. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. What was that? She seemed like she knew me. Okay. Been here a month now. Hike north. Is it to too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should oh. be lots of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Hey. Okay, so that's why that thing was divided into, like, three different sections. I wondered why that was, what that was for. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, we when it comes her? to her. Uh, I shouldn't be here. I am. 
I'm beginning to wonder if I'm not actually... Good. I'm glad. Oh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible. Caring. Oh, yeah. Sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and... I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And oh. for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. Oop. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Aw. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you... So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. So, yeah, part of me was beginning to wonder. It's like, am I actually out here? Or am I myself in a hospital or something? And I'm stuck in my head. You know? Made me wonder. Look at that. Food for other lookouts. Okay, uh, this one. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? 64. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. Oh. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. Oh, and wow. She doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Uh, how about the big fire? What about the Delilah? Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big <laughs> dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Mm, no, you were not. You're like sweet, it. but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. The June Fire. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. <sighs> You'd like it there. Uh, I'm sure I've had a bad time with tequila. I would if I was with you. Oh! If I was there with you, I'm sure I would like it a lot. Are uh -oh. you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Mm. Yeah. I like a campfire at Glad night. You're here. Me too. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Mm. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. Me too. I wish you were too. Aww. <laughs> We could sit outside. We could talk about these radios. We could, um, you know. 
What could we do? What? What could we do? <laughs> well, let me tell you. Day 76. I knew it. <laughs> We're cutting it right there. I mean, technically, I'm still married, right? Fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Nope, oh, we're not done talking. Uh, problem bear. Sure thing is problem uh, euphemism. Uh, sure, no problem. Remember me fondly. You are such a drama queen. Ugh, can't believe I'm going to leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, only if we get caught by the bear. Okay, let's bring up the map. Oh, I guess I got to put this away first. Okay, the lake. Which lake? Okay, I'm assuming I need to turn around. And go to the Jonesy Lake. Is that ahead of me or behind me? I don't know which way I'm facing at the moment. Wait a minute, uh, I need to be going west. Okay, so I was going the right way. Well, there's clearly some kind of a... Uh, bond or relationship that's starting to form between the two of these characters. I'm going the right way, right? Yeah. But, I mean, he is married, so I don't know. But he's been out here for like two and a half months. Apparently when we thought we were talking to Julia, we were talking to Delilah? Like we were sleepwalking or something? Interesting. Uh, okay, well, we'll take those. More fireworks at the same campsite, huh? Was I just missing those before? They've been sitting here for two and a half months. They probably ain't going to fire off anymore anyways. What happened to the big fire that we were uh, observing? Hmm? It's been a little while. She said something about it would probably be here like the rest of the summer. Okay, so we're looking for bear tracks. Is that what they said? What's this? Uh. What the... Uh, D, I found a clipboard down here and I... Uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry? What's going on? I'm worried. You didn't what? find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. It's kind of creepy all of a sudden. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh, God. I don't know why I just called you that. Another radio. <laughs> oh! What? Henry? Are you there? What happened, Henry? I... Holy hell, I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with... What? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I I, I I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. 
Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Oh, no. Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Uh, I know what I saw. Why would I make this up? There are people just, listening. Oh, this just seems like a, like a misunderstanding or something. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Yeah, and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. Uh, what is going on behind that fence where we should leave? I'll get to the bottom of this. Uh, bottom one. I'll hike Ooh. out there and get some answers. <gasps> Great. But just keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy. Like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there? Well, I meant, like, kill anybody. You got it, boss. <laughs> oh, man. Wasn't expecting that at all. One, two, three, four. Maybe those girls were taken and then they staged it to look like an animal attack. That's a possibility. Old sweater. The fourth estate. Uh, oh. There we go. Neil Black thought a trip to California would do him good. He soaked up some sun, drive a convertible, and maybe even enjoy a poolside drink with a tiny umbrella. But in Richard Sturgeon's fourth entry in the Neil Black series, California is nothing but a dream. An emergency landing after a murder in first class. Something off a Transamerica thrill that pulls Neil. Something off... Um, I don't know, maybe off is not even the right word. Uh, the South City streets and slams him into a sordid web of politics and high finance and all he finds is murder, deceit, and betrayal. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, put it back in the box. Uh, let's grab the map and update. There we are. What's this note? Okay, Ron. Got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though? Budget being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. Dave. P.S. Amigo in Spanish and professionals is Italian. <laughs> Professionale? Is that how you pronounce that? Okay. So it's been almost two months, but it sounds like the uh, fenced off area is maybe going to be a bigger issue than we originally thought. You know, I keep hearing ducks out there, but I don't see a one. Oop. Okay. Uh... I don't think I can... Can I get in the water? Nope. I don't think I can climb this either. Okay, I think I saw some rocks over here that could maybe be climbed. That must... This area over here must just been so I could get to that cache. Okay. Um, will this still... Yep, yep, okay. That'll work. That was a very unexpected twist. Getting all of a sudden knocked. I was really hoping we could get a view of who that was. Even just a faint view would have been nice, but nope. 
Nothing. No hints. All right. There's something going on out in this place. We're gonna have to find a way to get over this fence okay, or through I'm it. I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Let's see if we can take a picture. Okay. Uh, fence. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Right? Yeah, we'll see about that. Maybe find a spot where a tree branch is falling through it or something. Oh. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Maybe it's the same... ...shove. Okay. Um, I've, I've given it the good college try. Uh, no dice. Ah. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. <laughs> I'm going to try both rocks. <laughs> yeah. If they put a lock on here that you could actually break with a rock, a lock that you could break with a rock, that would be pretty stupid because look at all the rocks that are available. <laughs> at least they thought that through. 